So moving on from asthma, this is sort of a bread and butter pediatric pulmonology disorder, vocal cord dysfunction. Um, so the pathophysiology involves the vocal cords inappropriately AD ducting. So they're closing during inspiration, which obviously they're not supposed to do. And that obstructs airflow uh, into the lungs. Important to know it's not a dangerous disorder. Eventually those cords will open up, um, but it's certainly a cause of uh, discomfort and symptoms. The common scenario, um, at least in real life, is that uh, a teenager who, it's more common in, in girls than boys, but a teenager who is very successful in school, maybe plays a lot of sports, um, and they develop this difficulty breathing within a few minutes of starting to exercise. The timing of symptom onset can help you distinguish between VCD and asthma, whereas asthma more commonly happens at peak exercise and maybe 20 minutes into their game before they start feeling symptoms, vocal cord dysfunction occurs uh, more quickly. And oftentimes uh, the, the patients will tell you, they'll almost like point to their neck, they'll say, I have difficulty, like the air just gets stuck right here. And they have a sensation of feeling difficulty getting air into their lungs. They may also tell you they have some noisy breathing, which may be strider due to the obstruction of the airway. And then importantly, unless they have coexisting asthma, which can happen, asthma is common, uh, there should be no improvement with bronchodilators. The trigger most commonly is exercise, um, but can also be triggered by stress. It's usually a clinical diagnosis. There's some tests you can do that are technically challenging to allow you to sort of clinch the diagnosis. Um, you can have a patient run on a treadmill and then when they have symptoms, quickly do a laryngoscopy. That's obviously challenging, although it is done in some places. And then finally, you can do an exercise spirometry test, which um, we certainly do if we're unsure about the diagnosis. And you can see a specific finding, which I'll show you, of flattening of the inspiratory loop on spirometry. And I'll show you that so you can visualize it. And then the, the mainstay of treatment in VCD, first of all, the patient needs to sort of buy in that this is most likely the cause for their symptoms. Um, and once they do, you teach them breathing exercises to stent open the vocal cords so they have that tool to use when they feel the symptoms, they can overcome them at that time. And oftentimes we'll refer them to a speech therapist who can regularly work on them, uh, work with them on these exercises.